For the past few years, Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant, and Carl Pilkington have been meeting regularly for a series of pointless conversations. This is one of them. Testing. Is that all right? <laughs> Hello, and welcome to The Ricky Gervais Show, with me, Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant. Hello. And the little round-headed buffoon, that is, Carl Pilkington. All right. Um, I thought we could play uh, Room 101. Room 101, of course, is uh, taken from uh, George Orwell's 1984. Mm -hmm. Room of all your fears and terrors. And... So, uh, is there a copyright issue here? Can we uh, just steal this idea? Well, yeah. Uh, well, let's play Room 102. Clever. This is the room next door to Room 101, which is worse, in my opinion. So, Carl, these are things that really annoy you. Uh, slugs. Was in there? Slugs. So, um, then, then, then there's, uh, you have to put a case forward and me and Steve decide whether slugs go in or whether they, they stay out, whether they've got a purpose. It's, it's just because I'm having a problem with slugs at the moment. There's a lot of slugs coming in the house. Why? I don't know. I just, they can get where I like water can't, you know what I mean? Because they, they're boneless, aren't they? So well, any little gap. So is water boneless? There's not many bones in water. No, no, that's what I said. Why, why banish them all to room 102, slugs? Because they're harmless, aren't they? All I know is they're clogging up my piping. <laughs> I had to go out and buy a plunger. I hadn't seen them since, like, comics when I was a kid. And I suddenly thought I need one of them things that I always saw in comics. I, I never thought I'd need one of them in my life. I've got slugs in my pipes. <laughs> <laughs> so I went out, three quid it was. I had no idea what the going rate is for a plunger. Gave it a bit of a plunge. Uh, and I think it was slugs, like, all, like, bits of black stuff came up. I think it was slugs in there, like, what, broken up what, slugs. Well, ha hang on, hang on, hang on. It could have just be black gunk, couldn't no, it? No, no, it looked very sluggish. Because, <laughs> remember, I've had a problem with them anyway. I'll go to the toilet or whatever, look round, there's a slug climbing up the wall out of the shower basin thing. Are you sure it's a slug? Yeah, definitely, definitely slugs. I have to keep chucking them out, because I don't like killing anything. Right. I, I didn't want to kill the slugs with slug pellets. I bought some copper ribbon. Right, they don't like going over that, they don't do they? Like that. They, they get, get a little, little bit shock charge, yeah. But now that should be a warning. But instead, they're diverting. They've done a diversion. They've gone up the wall and across. <laughs> now it's like that's a warning. That's like having a no trespassing sign. Yeah. And they're just going bollocks to that. <laughs> <laughs> and they're getting in, and it's annoying me. And now you get to a point when you do say, well, if they carry on like this, I'll have to kill them because they're not. How, how much? How they're much, not playing by the rules. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what the purpose is. You just sit there still. I don't see him doing anything. I was lo looking at one close up. But well, what do you want to do? Be reading Rusa. What do you want a slug to do? In the same way you see a bee collecting pollen, good, it's doing its little work. But they're, they're... And it's carrying big leaves or whatever. But the slugs just sat in the They're all the doing kitchen. the same thing. They're all doing the same thing. That slug is out. It's eating. That it's is finding not, food. No food. There's no food in our kitchen for a slug. Believe me. There's not enough there for me sometimes. But never mind a slug. It's, there's nothing for it. Definitely not in the shower. What's it doing? <laughs> so I told you ages ago about how the, they cause more problems than good. They eat, they eat cabbage, right? Um, when they shouldn't be. Um, they get in letter boxes and nick stamps. They don't nick stamps. They eat the stamps. They like the glue on it. Right. Right. Is this a big problem though? Is there an epidemic of slugs eating stamps? But I think it is, and that's why they're so slow. I think they're sweating glue. Right? Slowing them they're down. eating all them, and 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 that's that's why they're sticking to stuff. Have you ever picked up a slug? Well sticky. They give off this glue. It's like the, all the glue they've eaten off stamps. They panic, and when they sweat, they sweat. Glue. Sweat? <laughs> Think of a drug, a slug. <laughs> what do you mean they sweat glue? If You're this, making up nature. It makes sense. <laughs> this is it's just a nonsense theory. It's just what I've noticed on them. Right, Rick, do you allow slugs in room 102? Well, I just want I think we should, you know, you know, if, if they're going to be gone forever, then we should we should put a case forward. They're amazing creatures. What do they do for the world? They're food. It's not good enough that. It's not good enough. 
What do you mean? But like that's well, that's the ultimate sacrifice. Surely them being food. Just having problems with them at the moment. I spent three quid on a plunger, and I don't like the idea that every time I get up in the night to go into the toilet, or whatever, I've got to put the light on because I might have a bit of sluggage between my toes. Sluggage, a little bit of sluggage between my toes. Right. Okay. Well, so we need to move on. So you are not putting them in. I'm not putting slugs. All in. All right. Slugs have not gone in, Carl. I'm afraid. What's your next one? Okay. Number two. Um. People who don't want to do what what the brains would be better at doing. Right, okay, no, I'll, I'll get around that sentence. Now, tell me again. Brains that don't want to do what their owners are good at. Ah, so now it's the brain's fault. Can you just expand on that point, please, KP? Do you know, like, pe people decide what they want to do, right. don't they, for a living? Mm -hmm. But sometimes they're not good enough. Right. You mean they have a dream and they can't fulfil it because they haven't got the, the, the skill or...? Yeah, but that doesn't mean they're not good for anything. No. no. It's just that they haven't unlocked the thing that they're good at. They want to go well, of course. So, but, I mean, so it's, that's a, there's much bigger issues there that um, uh, the poor working class people don't get the same opportunities. When, uh, when you're worrying about whether you're going to live through the next few days, you don't start thinking, I wonder if I can play the cello. Can I so, refer you back though, Rick? You made an interesting point there, but I fear that's not exactly what Carl was saying. I don't on. think that his point was quite uh, that profound. Yeah, that's kind of what I meant. Yeah, I don't know. There was something to do with the brain not allowing its owner. Yeah, because that's the bit that annoys me. Fair enough if a brain hasn't decided what it wants to do. Because you. Right. What is this? Let, it, let oh, him finish. God, this thing it about finish. the brain. Shut up. Because it, it. it hasn't found its destiny type thing. Brain but when someone is good at something and they know the brain is good at something, but then they don't want to do it and they want to go off and do something else. Now they say in this country the problem is we haven't got enough tradesmen. Right. We haven't got enough plumbers. Right. There's enough plumbers' brains. I don't know what the fuck that means. Shut up. Let what him are you please. talking about? Shut up. Let him please finish. Because this brains, is like, this is like brains, beds and pillows brains again. have not changed over the years. The brain is exactly the same. But it's the owner of the brain that's in charge. The brain could be going. I want to go for a walk, but if your body's too lazy to get up and go and see the stuff, the brain isn't going to get what it wants. It doesn't make what? sense, Carl. Right, you are this. your brain. All right, let's go to the extreme. People with no legs who want to be swimmers. Don't be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! Oh, God! I'm so annoyed! Oh. Is this a big problem? It's, it's madness, isn't it? It's mad that the brain wants to do that so much. The brain's in the wrong, in the wrong body, almost. Yet... Yeah. Are you with me? No. A plumber, a plumber, a plumber who can plumb is annoying when he jacks it in as a living because there's other brains who can't do plumbing. They don't, don't get their head round it. This means I don't know what you're putting in room 102 because you're saying these. It's like this brain's wandering around Who's looking for a body, and it goes, "Oh, I'll choose that body." Hang on, this body doesn't even want to do some plumbing. It's, it's a matter of taste. Sometimes it's just a matter of taste. It's, I'm not putting the brain, and it's just people. Um, if I had a really good skill. I'd hope that, that I'd use it. Do so it. people who don't fulfil their own potential, is that a better point? Yeah, that's what I meant. Who am I talking to now, Carl or his brain? We're both listening. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I will put in people who don't fulfil their full potential. Slugs are safe. What's your next thing to try and get in room 102? It's a tricky one, this. Go on. It's, it's people who, um, who think that humans are special. Do you know what I mean? But you think that? No, I don't. I don't think humans are special. I but think what, some of us are. Look at it like this. You say I think we think we're important because yeah. we just do. Well, I don't, but some do, and they're the ones who want to get rid of. <laughs> Another argument with himself. Now we think we're special. There might be something else going on that's more important. We're in this universe, aren't we? Yeah. They try to make a new universe. What do you mean? There's a machine somewhere. What? A big bang. We're making a big bang again. Right, well, that you've got that completely wrong, but sure. They're not trying to create a new world. They're trying to recreate the conditions that happened at the beginning of the Big Bang. All right, so they... But the it's world came... different. But the world came from the Big Bang. Yeah, they're trying to recreate the conditions so they can test and they can experiment to see Dangerous. the conditions before... So that why are they true. doing that? Who's allowed that? <laughs> this is what annoys me. It's because humans think they're special. Oh, who made the Big Bang? Oh, I'd like my name on that. I want to <laughs> claim it. <laughs> why do people always want to better someone else? It's happened. Let them have it. Okay, right, okay, Carl, you're in charge of the world now. You are this, you're, you're all powerful. You're like a god, okay? You can do anything. You go, you call all the scientists and they go, what do you want of us? Oh, oh, orange-headed one. What the fuck do you want of us? Right? 
What do you want them to do? Go. What do you say? Uh, well, I want, I want to come in and... How long have they been working on the Big Bang idea? Forget it. it just, you've got every science... No, but I don't just want to come in and, and poo-poo that, because they're going to... They're, poo-poo. They've, they've done a lot of research well, on Well, hold on. You wanted to stop a minute ago. Yeah, I know, but you don't just come in. Guns are blazing. I'd say, I'd say, hello, everyone. You can do everyone. anything you want. Oh, go on, go on. Yeah, hello, everyone. Hello, Carl, leader. Right, uh, listen, um, this Big Bang thing you've been doing. Yeah, well, that's uh, just only a few of us. That's like less than a millionth of a percent of us. We're all here. Yeah. yeah. I've dropped AIDS research. I've dropped cancer research. Right, well, why have you dropped that? I'm Who's told that? you to do that? Well, no, we just, well, we knocked off. They said you wanted to tell us something. We're all here. Every scientist in the world well, is listen, here. Listen, what research are you doing? Oh, well, I'm looking at, um, uh, what happens if you give Feminax to an owl. What happens? Well, I'm halfway through it. You, I got called away. Look, I'm really busy. What do you want me to work on? Who, Who says they're doing cancer? cancer? Hey. Go back. Go back to work. Oh, <laughs> right. OK, the rest of us I've doing got... stuff that you think we're fanning around with, what would you want us Listen, to do? Well, I can't do it all today. What about me? I was doing AIDS. Hang on a minute. I was doing AIDS. You just wait a minute. Right, OK, why does cancer get to go back? Are you saying that cancer's a bigger problem than AIDS? You go back to work. So I'm going to go back. I'm doing. Oh, I'm doing restless legs. Right, can everybody but the Big Bang people leave? <laughs> I'll tell you another problem that I've worked out. It might might make a slight difference on fat people. Don't put a light in a fridge. Because that's just that's just that night when they get peckish. They can see everything that's in there. Don't put the light there. You don't need a light in a fridge. There's no lights in other cupboards. Yet where there's food, it's like fat is getting up at four in the morning. What can it have? What's that at the back? Get rid of the light, they'd eat less. That might, there might be some logic in that. That's interesting. Well, what's it there for? Tell me what that light is there for. They say, turn off your standby light, yet you've got a light in your fridge. Well, no, it is Showing you where tomatoes is. You know, but it's turned chocolate. off when you shut... The, you don't, the light's not on when the door's not open. Yes, but a fat person has always got the fridge door open. <laughs> <laughs> So what are you saying, in a way, is that the free market, capitalism being what it is, which has allowed companies, food manufacturers, to make them more full of more salt, more fat, and in order to well, attract you, in order to make more profits, is actually resulting in obesity? I was in a cafe, right? Um, I normally like to go in there, and I might have beans on toast, mm. uh, cheese on top. Tea. I might have a bit of cheese. Yeah, cheddar on top. Uh, only if they offer. I sometimes sort of think, I shouldn't have it, so mm. I'll only have it if they say, if you want cheese. Oh, OK. And then it's down to their problem. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's kind of like, they made me have that. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm sat in there. This little fella, I'd say he was from, like, Africa or something. Yeah. Uh, came in, had a little top hat on. <laughs> suitcase and red jeans. Dead happy he was. Uh, I think he'd just turned up to London. It's his first day out. And he's probably thinking, I can't believe me. Look, look at the choice here. Anyway, the difference was... Or conjecture. Yeah. Is or it, yeah. yeah the on. difference was, he went in and he said, have you got any porridge? He asked for two bowls for the price of one. It was a little bit of a... A kerfuffle. Yeah, a little bit, because he couldn't understand why. You've got loads of porridge, give me two portions. But the, what, what, what I found interesting is, he didn't want to go for the donut or the pastry, because in his country, they don't, they don't have it. Mm. So food where he's from is for what food is for. Isn't it giving you energy? Yeah. Here, it's not about that, is it? No. You go, oh, I'd, I'd love a little uh, muffin. So I just found I just found it interesting. That's all my point is that he could have anything. He's come over here. He's in London. He's yeah. Got loads of stuff on offer. Yeah. But he still wants his porridge. Do you think uh, that? Well, firstly, do you think perhaps he had travelled from the past <laughs> <laughs> in some kind of time machine? <laughs> but secondly, do you think that now that he'll have a, he'll, he'll have a, his first taste of a donut, honey, or a pan of chocolate, do you think you'll get the taste of it next time you see him? Well, maybe that's that's yeah, how it works, isn't it? I mean, out. why do I like? Hey, well, next time we're gonna go. Hello, usual. No, chef de porridge. I want a donut. That's that's what happens, isn't it? It's all about a mixture. You need a mixture in your body. You need to have, like I've told said to you before, I get an urge for things that I don't even know about. Do you know what I mean? What, like what? Anything. The one that always surprises me are plums. <laughs> <laughs> because I shouldn't get an urge for plums. I don't like them enough, but if I pass them in a supermarket, I go, I want them for a bit. Yeah, that, I think you need that. And I go mad, I'll eat a full packet in a day. I'll eat like six and get bellyache and that. And I know I shouldn't overdo it with them. But it's just like, 
My body... He's is, like a creature, isn't he? My body just calls out for stuff. It doesn't, Carl. No, he feels that way because I wouldn't normally buy him. My favourite fruit, I, I like an apple, love a banana. Mm. I've got into um, blackberries. Yeah. <laughs> Quite expensive, but a bit of a treat. I think there's plenty of fruit out there. Bananas, apples, oranges. We've got plenty of fruit. They can't get rid of fruit quick enough. There's loads of stuff with fruit in now. Shower gel with kiwi in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, they can't get rid of it because it's too much. So they're just going, what can we do with all this stuff? We'll stick it in there. Orange juice. I, t I had orange juice sort of cordial. Yeah. Tastes a bit weird, isn't it, orange? Sneaked a bit of pineapple in. <laughs> orange and pineapple. They can't get rid of the stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Satsuma. Easy to peel. What I don't like is the big oranges, you have to peel them, you get it on your, you well, know... They're the ones I eat when I'm in the bath. <laughs> <laughs> just, just so you it. just dunk under the water afterwards that's and you're clean again. If I'm going to have a bath, then, yeah. Yeah, then that's what you do. You so it's two eat. treats, it's an orange and a bath. I mean, that's amazing. That's an amazing thing to look forward to. Don't you think you've blown that for when you're old, when you're 74, and I go, I'll tell you what, Carl, lovely treats, a bath and an orange. Done it! I did it when I was 36! So, uh, have you heard Desert Island Discs? Yeah. Good, let's do that. Right, um, forget the eight records, we well, can't play for... them anyway. We can't play them anyway. I know, but for people in other countries, they may not be familiar with Desert Island Discs. Oh, it's a, it's a, a programme, it's a, a real national institution here. They, they get, you know, prime ministers and leaders of men and really eminent people to go on. And you talk about your life and you choose your eight favourite um, tunes. You take a, a luxury item and um, you're allowed to take any book. I did it, um, and I, I took a book, I think a tabletop book of art. Why would you tell that? Oh, oh so much. You can't take anything that's useful. It's just, you know, it's, it's you know, it's and your luxury item, you can't. I took a vat of Novocaine. I thought, if I get toothache, I'm sipping on that till I die. If I'm stuck here with nothing to do, I've got eight records, I'm going to be sick of them. That's the thing. I'm looking at art. I'm le at least I'm looking at something, you know. What book would you take, Carl? Well, I wouldn't take an art book anyway, I know that. Right, OK, because so come on in. One sick book. Of it. You're going to get sick of... Right, one book. You can't get sick of art, either. You okay. can. You can. You can have a brilliant <sighs> picture on your wall, but eventually... Remember what I've said to you? Mm. Your eyes get bored of anything. <laughs> I don't remember him saying that. I think I blanked out. I think he came in one ear straight out the other. Well, that's why relationships break up, isn't it? Because the, the eyes get sick of looking at that other person, and you go, my eyes want to change. That's what it's all about. <laughs> my eyes want to change. OK, come Sorry, on, love. Fucking hell, choose a book to I'd take. I'd probably take a dictionary or something oh, like that. Oh, that's ridiculous. Why? Why would you take a dictionary? Just because I'm not that good with words. But who, what do you want words for? You're not talking to anyone anymore. You don't have to worry about the vocabulary. You have to worry about... Oh, But there'll be a lot of and... talking to yourself, probably. It'd be nice to sort of... Oh, so you're going to bring yourself up on your grammar, either. You're talking <laughs> to yourself and you go, oh, Carl, you're an idiot. You don't say it like that. That's well, if you've up. got to talk to yourself, it'd be nice to have Why are you someone... talking to yourself, you maniac? Because there's no-one else about. Yeah, but you don't open your mouth and actually verbally talk in order to talk... But also, what does it matter if you've got a dictionary or not? Who's arguing with who? Because sometimes I feel frustrated when I don't, I can't get my point across. But it's just you. Exactly. You already know more annoying. So, Look so how you're getting annoyed now. You're annoyed with me because I can't explain what I mean. Yeah. I don't want to be annoying myself. <laughs> Why would you be annoying yourself? But you'll already understand your point. You don't need to vocalise no, it. Sometimes I think through what I'm saying. Yeah. And I think, does that make sense? And sometimes I'll go, no, it doesn't. And I'll go, why is that? And then you, you're working it out in your head. Now, if I've got a better vocab. I'll have a good little chat. <laughs> what? A good little what? chat? With yourself. If you're not keeping yourself interested in anything, your brain's going to turn to mush. Now, I'm... I'm I know how you feel. I'm teaching my brain stuff, keeping it active. Mm. The only thing you've got on that island mm. is your imagination mm. and your thoughts. Now, if you can make those imaginations and thoughts better, which you do with language, you're going to have a better time, aren't you? No, well, no, you if you've you had the thought, you've had the thought. You don't go, hold on, I'd have a thought here, but I can't think of the word. You don't think in language in that same way, do you, really? You think more conceptually. When someone came up, I, oh, guess what? I've just found the cure for... Oh, I can't think of the word. Forget what? It, I, I just worked out the cure for... Eh? I can't think of the word. Let's look it up. What is it? Cancer. No, but just to think... Language is a powerful thing, isn't it? Yeah. Um. Oh, he's run out of words. 
You see, this is what I'm saying. It's sometimes difficult for me to get my point across with what I mean. Yeah, but that's fair enough if you're communicating, say, in this environment, and it's... Dare I say it, perhaps a shame that you didn't read a dictionary before we started doing the broadcasting. But anyway, you've waited here on a desert island with no well, well fucker uh, around. Well, no, no. Well, I, I think uh, by then, well, by the time you get shipwrecked, there will probably be a few more entries to the dictionary. Um, grippage. Foodage. <laughs> rumminging. <laughs> replenishing. But, but, so what? All words are made up. Orange. One day someone went, what? He's got, head, that's, that's, he's got a head like something. He's got, head head he's got a head like a fucking what? I don't even know what. He's got a head like a fucking what? And the other thing is, say if I am captured. By who? who? What? By that's who? By a boat. That's passive. Why are you captured? captured? You mean saved? All right, saved then, yeah. Okay. If I'm set, there you go again, you see. I went for captured instead of saved. <laughs> You're captured by some pirates. Talking to anyone, Carl, in your head, it didn't matter. You knew what you meant. When you sat there on that desert island, you thought, oh, if I'm captured by a boat. They didn't come over and go, hi, Carl, we've come to save you. You wouldn't go, well, no, I don't want saving, I want capturing. I go, right, sorry, wait for the next boat. It didn't matter. You knew what you meant. You'd go, help, and you'd get do on the you, boat. Do you think in, in words that you don't use? You've only got yourself for company. Yes, but you if don't... you bore yourself, what's the point? <laughs> What is the point, seriously? But how are you going to... Well, so you think you're going to read that dictionary and you're going to be better company because you're going to be impressing yourself with longer words. You're going to go... If a boat passes and they go, there's a fella over there on that island, let's go and get him. Now, the way I am at the moment, they'd go, you all right? And I'd go, you are? And they'd go, oh, don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Dude, imagine that! Whereas if oh. I sort of say something with a big word that I can't think of right now, they'll go, oh, who's that? He sounds like he knows his... Yoo-hoo! anti disestablishmentarianism <laughs> Get him on this boat now! <laughs> we Walk must have that wit! <laughs> all right, you, you get... <laughs> Come through. But then I'm on the news and they go, oh, Carl, what was it like on the island? And I can start saying stuff. I can't... It was scrambarious! <laughs> No, but then I think it makes it more interesting, whereas at, the, at this moment in time, I'd struggle telling I them think what it's like. I like the idea of you trying to educate about yourself. I love the idea. But do it now! Well, there's so many other books. If I'm stuck with one... OK, the dictionary. You've got a dictionary. What's Fine. your luxury item? What's your luxury item? Quick. Let's get off this island. Come on. What did you take for your luxury? A vat of Novocaine. Oh, yeah. yeah. Some Revels. A big sort of bag. A big bag of Revels. A big bag of Revels. Just for variety. But well, there's no variety particularly in Rebels, they're chocolate, aren't they? No, all different. You've got orange ones, you've got coffee, caramel, Malteser. I mean, second Novocaine isn't great, is it? If you don't get toothache, you'll be going, why aren't they bring Rebels? <laughs>